Hi everyone, this is Cindy Crane with the Heart, and I'm back with another stash busting Christmas video. This is where I have been using stuff that's been sitting in my stash for a while. Um, and or maybe stuff from last year's Christmas or the year before is Christmas or the year before that's Christmas and just either using it or losing it. In this case, I decided to not lose. Um, I actually lost some of it. Um, this paper plus value pack that I got from Tuesday morning a couple of years ago. And so I just used all the paper that were, was in this. It came with like a die cut sheet and it came with a sticker sheet, which I put those in my D-stash. I did not use them at all. So that's the lose it part. And let's go ahead and show you what I made. Everything else in here is stuff that I either had in my stash, um, I stamped or cut very little if anything and I love how all of my um all of my slimline cards are a different size I don't know what happened with that but I think it just depended on the paper that I had left um I always can make another my own envelope if I have to um so anyway I used this was a die cut that I had it's a cottage cuts die cut I had done and pieced together last year and then um these little guys I had punched out um like in November, thinking I, I just want to play with this gingerbread punch that I have from Stampin' Up! And I think I've got it handy because it, it's pretty cool. Right? Isn't that cool? So it's really cute. So I did use that. And um, I had made these ahead of time. So it was just really easy to use. And some stickers. And then this is um, one of the things I did stamp. And this is from my new Jaded Blossom um, gingerbread I shared this in a in a um, haul, but it's Believe in the Magic of Cookies, and so really cute gingerbread stuff, which I don't even know if I'm going to get a chance to really use any of that stuff because it's getting to be the end. Uh, and before I forget, if you want to get a homemade card from me, please email me at scoop71 at yahoo.com, and you could get one of these cards. Um, and maybe even one of these tags. I might even throw some tags in there. Um, this one, I'm using these larger gingerbread. They're in my stash, so... I have this gingerbread die somewhere, apparently, because I use this. Um, and it was just a die cut that I had put these together and put them um, in my stash. And then it says, a little sugar for the sweetest friend. That's also from that same gingerbread jaded blossom stamp set. It's a slimline card. And then this one, um, both these pieces are cottage cut dies that I had put pieced together last year that were in my stash. So easy, quick card to put together. All I did was... Um, die cut in glitter paper the sentiment which is um, a lawn fawn sentiment die it goes with actually a stamp set which I have never used that stamp set because I just really super love this die just use it all the time and then here's this one I really like how this one came out these two pieces are both pieces that I had um, die cut last year they're in my stash I have no idea where that one's from but this one is a um, Julie Nutting stamp so I stamped, colored it out, cut it out. There you go. And this is a sticker from the sweater weather. And then I use these pieces from Tuesday morning. They are um, little snowflakes. So there's that. So all those slim lines. And then the tags. So I, I used what was left. This was a tag. I had made this last year. It was in my stash. And so I just punched a hole and made it into a tag, even though my string is super short. Um, but these are all things that were in my stash so little um, die cuts that I have and then I used stickers and bows and everything nice in my stash so just kind of putting it together this one I've got this tree I think this is a cottage cuts this is a cottage cuts I think as well so there's that tag and then here's this one and this is just using up the rest of some stickers I have And then um, this is Have a Sweet Christmas. This is from that gingerbread um, stamp set that I have from Jada Blossom. These two are cottage cuts um, dies. I I'm finding the cottage cuts dies have too many pieces is what I'm finding. But I put these together last year. I don't think I could face putting them together this year. It's like way too much. And then um, I actually de-stashed this last year, this die. But I had that cut of it. So I used it. And then this is from... One of the many sticker sheets that I'm trying to finish off. And so 
I completed a uh, stash busting project and I'll see if I have time for more before the end of the season. So thank you for watching. This is Cindy of Faith the Heart.